From racist flyers to synagogue vandalism, our area has seen a share of religious groups becoming the target of hate crimes. And that's why the Chico Police Department brought the faith-based community together today. And I went to go check it out. I'm here at the Neighborhood Church in Chico where more than 100 members of the faith-based community came out to learn from local police, from the Sheriff's Office, even the Department of Homeland Security about how to practice their faith while keeping one eye open and staying aware of possible threats in the community. I'm actively involved in the uh, Chico Area Interfaith Council and of course churches in, in that group come together and we've had, uh, for example, one of the um, Jewish temples here um, or synagogues attached. She's from Butte County and says she's seeing her community change. And a big concern is the potential for cyber attack. And you don't want your congregation to have their uh, personal information or um, banking, etc., taken away from them because somebody has invaded our, our internet system. Cyber safety was just one of the tools experts laid out. We provide uh, free, no cost, physical security assessments that in turn, Faith-Based House of Worships can utilize as part of their package for submitting for grants for the state of California, California Office of Emergency Services. In addition to that, we provide active shooter training and de-escalation training. The state DOJ reported that hate crimes increased 20% in California in 2022 from the year prior, with anti-Jewish bias events up 24%. The threat does exist, in part, the training that we provide, the de-escalation training, came out of the fact that more people, more often than not, are being confronted. Brownell says she's learning how crucial awareness can be. How can we protect ourselves and look out for each other as well? And Chico police say they're going to be there every step of the way. We have a group of uh, officers that are trained as terrorism liaison officers, uh, and they bring different skill sets to bear that we can uh, use to, to help the congregations or whatever community group uh, needs our help. Do you feel like you can kind of strike a balance where you don't always, you're not full of fear just because you're prepared? Correct. Okay. I think part of it is that I, I watch for how can I protect myself, but I'm not overprotective. You know, the FBI and Cal OES, they also came out to share strategies today. It's really interesting. What if someone missed the meeting today? Yeah, so a, a lot of that information is online, but I did learn that there will be an active shooter training here in our community coming up soon. We're going to keep you posted about all of that information, but just go to actionnewsnow.com and click on news links and you can learn more. Hmm.